Hello, everybody. Hope you're having another blessed day. For today's video, we are going to be taking another look at a trailer that's been released on YouTube. And what I've heard from everyone talking about it on the YouTubes and the webs is that it is a pretty interesting trailer. Now, if you don't know yet, if you haven't even looked at the title of this video, it's going to be the whole trailer for the new game coming out, Resident Evil Village. I haven't looked at all into it. I know there's something to do with some kind of tall vampire lady. Don't know where that goes into anything, but people say it's gonna look and maybe be insane. So, with that in mind, let's get into it. We're gonna watch the whole video without me commenting in at all. With that all, you guys and me, we're gonna look at the same time, and at the end, we'll rewind it back for no time for me to talk more about my thoughts on the game. So, with that in mind, now, let's get into it. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know, we hardly talk about anything else. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. There you are. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. Well, shoot. <laughs> um, what? Well, that's that's um, that's a trailer. That's a trailer, and we have two banger trailers right back to back. Holy crap! That looks like a that looks pretty fun. All right, before we get into it much, okay, let's just run it back. Let's turn down the volume a little bit so you can hear me talking over it, and that's so I can still hear it. All right, not gonna say anything yet. Okay. I know. Talked about it. Now, I heard him saying Ethan Winters. I don't know Winters at all, but Ethan, I know. I know Ethan from Resident Evil 7. I did a walkthrough play of that game. I even got that thing beat on uh, Madhouse, which was insane. If you guys want to see that, you know, I'll do no run for a Madhouse. Don't want to bother for you. Just tell me in the comment section. But I, I'm. this is me taking some guesses out there. If he's Ethan, is this Mia? Okay, so that's some guess around Ethan and Mia. Are we going down that storyline again? Cause that game was actually pretty fun. All right, so this is like reminding me I I never played Resident Evil 4. Yeah, you can kill me now in the comment section. Kill me now! But no, I never played that game. But I've seen enough people play it, 
And I'm getting kind of a Resident Evil 4 vibe, at least from the whole starting, like, village. You know, I, I'm just trying to fill the things out there. Alright, and then this voice right now, the one from the beginning here, I'll, I'll play it higher. The bell tolls for us all. You know what that reminds me of? And this is just joking. This does not have nothing to do with, like, the plot or anything like that. It reminds me of the, the headless ball lady from the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same actor, who knows. Hope Disney doesn't roast me for that. Alright, let's go on some more. We got a castle, which is interesting. I don't know why we're going to a castle. You know, is it... What, what's that game? Oh. I don't know. Oh, what, what is that game? It's Out, Outcast? Outlast? That has to do with, like, someone gets kidnapped once out in the woods? I don't know. Again, no horror game, no play. <laughs> Alright. No, I am kind of... See, I am mean, getting a kind of vibe again from Resident Evil Sandwich. I'm still saying this is probably the sequel to, since it is kind of laid out like it on the title near the end, which you'll, you'll see at the end. But, you know, this might be in that balcony area in the house. Which means you'll probably, we'll probably get chased up here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Alright, so who is Mother Miranda? Because I know in the whole, like, people talking about the game, this lady right here was saying, Oh my god, it's a giant vampire lady. Wow. You know, and that's what people are going crazy about. But I'm more interested about who the heck this Mother Miranda is. Alright, so uh, I can't wait to play this in May. Let's see who the frick this thing is. And hopefully, you know, this starts like leading up to even more storylines. Because, you know, Resident Evil 7 is great. Hopefully, 8 is pretty good, too. Because he is in my castle. Heisenberg. Alright, Heisenberg, I'm going to guess is probably that little witch doctor guy at the end of the freaking hammer. I don't know. I'm guessing. Daughters, I'm guessing the vampire ones, the dark, the dark robe. Yes, of course. You can take the ceremony. I won't let you down. Really do. All right. So something for ceremony. You know, we did see that baby in that one clip. So you know, in the Harrison Valley, this place is full of blood. You know, it could be something like they stole your baby, and we're gonna sacrifice it. If it is, I'm really bored because <laughs> I, I don't like that at all. But, you know, if it is Ethan and Mia, there could be some significance around that baby. Because, you know, they were both in, in, uh... Oh, shoot. They were both exposed to the whole, like, black smudge. Was it, was it Eva? Oh, shoot, I can't even remember that girl's name. Whatever. Uh, Zombie E or something, I don't know. Yeah, those both exposed to her at some point, so, you know, it could also, ex ex like, affect her genetically? You never know, maybe the baby's some kind of hybrid, or just, I don't know. Yep, yep, I'm getting too far into this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, again, opening area. I'm still going to think we'll get chased through here. <laughs> and I'm guessing this this could be the main hub, you know, how we had kind of, uh, like, the garden area. Outside of the house, the kind of main hub that leads you to, like, wanting to go to, like, the whole dock house area. You go up to, you know, the the brother's little torture area. He'll go back into the main house. You know, I could see this being something like that. You go upstairs to one section of the castle. You go through those main doors. And you start maybe from where you are right now. You know, you never know. What the hell is going on here? No. This place is full All right. No, I'll, I'll get back to that but blood and All right. death. I'm guessing this is the basement area. Kind of basements and horror games. Alright, outside. Yep, basements. All fun. <laughs> Tortured racks. Now, what you about to see here? I think these are going to be taking the place of more of like the whole rotten zombies. Like we have like the whole generic, like, you know, one, two, three heads in the head and are gone. You know, I feel like these are going to take those kind of places, okay? So, we'll probably have a ton of these going on. I guess, I'm guess i guessing there are the mind control dead that the vampire ladies killed. If, if they are vampires. They won't believe. Alright. Only well, difference is... Besides them uh, flying at you like this. Uh, they all, some of them have god dang swords. You know, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> you know, this set worried me one of the... Was it, was it Resident Evil? The one from something like a shotgun or range attacks? I hate anything like that, you know. I like to think of the minions as this simple, easy, you know, 
they're going to run at me and try to smack me with, like, their fisticuffs. I have a feeling, like, this sword could, like, do a piss ton of damage. Like, this would probably do half your health, at least. Which is scary. Definitely watch out for the sword. Alright, pause. There, nope, they missed pause. Let's, let's rewind that back for a little sec. Eh, no, I don't want to look at the wine. Get right about here. Alright, so this is probably going to be one of those sis uh, daughters that one lady was talking about. And I'm guessing it'll be partially maybe the mini part of the mini boss. Something like that. It's not going to be something like Nemesis. I feel like the, that big lady is going to probably be Nemesis. Or some form of Nemesis that you know you just want to avoid for God's sakes. Which, you know, who knows. Or it could just be kind of like, oh, like Jack's family. How he had like uh, Marjorie and Jack and all of them, you know. They're hard to kill if you, once you like you don't know how to play the game, but they're kind of simple. Start like after you play a couple times, these maybe that kind of like mini bosses throughout the game. So that'd be interesting. Dining area. See, this look at that height, cause one, we're about the same height as these people over here. Those two, uh, I'm guessing daughters. She is a effing giant. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a Nemesis vibe. <laughs> I'm scared. Alright, more chambers. You know, again, yep, these very well, maybe some mini bosses. Or, you know, what? These are more like the special infected. You know, we either get like Resident Evil uh, free to remake. You know, we had those ones that popped on the head and had some range attacks. Stuff like that. And then in Resident Evil 7, we even had the. the Bumped up, infected, had like razor claws and the runners and stuff like that. So these could kind of take that place, you know, harder to kill, but still not consider a boss. So, you know, they could go down that path. Maybe that's what it is, you know. Castle, castle. Alright, so this is the part I was saying that, you know, could be about the baby. Because this looks like one to kidnap the baby for sure and has to use about the ritual sacrifice. Which typically sacrifices love to sacrifice babies, apparently, nowadays. You know, backlash, backlash. So, again, if it is the Ethan, if it is the Mia, this could be their child, it could be some link to Evelyn, Evelyn, I, I'm not going to remember her name. Evelyn, Evelyn. Mm, I got that name. I remembered it. After how long has it been? 12 minutes in the video. Yeah, we got the big brain going on. Alright. Yeah, this could be like the whole like power from Evelyn mixing into the baby. I don't know. Alright. Look at that. This, this girl has to walk, like, crouch underneath the door like you talk your old fall. You know, look at the hat. The hat glitching through the wall. Kind of. Ethan Winters. Gosh, I hope that's the Ethan. And I don't get why it's Ethan, though. Because, you know, I didn't take Ethan on my side as being one of those super awesome, bad A military people from Resident Evil set. I thought it was just, like, a loving husband or boyfriend or something like that. I went after his girlfriend, wife, whatever. So I don't. I I would love to know some military background. Maybe he's been trade now by the Umbrella Corp. You know, or whoever, whoever came rescuing. I don't remember much. Maybe something. <laughs> I just know we won. Maybe. But yeah. I don't know. Tell me his background. How does he like getting sent on missions now? Tell me stuff. Okay. Creepy. Oh. All right. So yeah, Village Resident Evil. Resident Evil. And you do see the VII and the I to the size is Resident Evil 8. Hopefully a continuation of Resident Evil 7. We have a confirmation on that one. Who the fuck are you? Nice little area. Let's see what you really made. And there's one more part here. See, and I think this is going to be that guy that the girl, the, the giant lady was talking about how he fell or he escaped him, something like that. I'm guessing that is who this is. I'm guessing he may actually be the mini boss. He's confirmed has to be a mini boss. If he's a final boss, I'm just confused. I would think like the final boss would be kind of zombie lady or the vampire lady or what the frick she is. So yeah, mini boss, for you, stuck in the basement with him. Still fun. So I, I will dig his look. You know, he got he got some nice shades. He got some nice little glasses. Now, it's going to be a shame if you have to fight him, because, you know, he looks like a pretty cool dude. He looks like one of those guys you love to go on a trip if you like. He tells you some cool stories, you know? <sighs> Who knows? Alright. And, yeah. Uh, May 7, 2021. So, we got about... 
so you guys are favorite day. We got the March, we got the April. So, you know, we got about about three, four months. Something like that. Alright, so you know, it's not that far away. You know, there's plenty of stuff we can do before then to kind of prepare. For example, I'm going to give you guys some options. You know, I hope you guys comment down below. Kind of tell me what you would like to see. Would you like me to do a whole playthrough walkthrough of Resident Evil 3, which I picked up during the Christmas time? You know, get to play as Jill Valentine and run from the big old fat boy nemesis as he tries to smoke you out there in that rock County city. Or, you know, would you want me to do a Madhouse playthrough on Resident Evil 7 and watch me scream and suffer the whole time? Because uh, Madhouse is not fun at all. No. No, it is not. So, yeah, definitely tell me in the comment sections down below. And with that in mind, that is going to do it for the video. And if you enjoyed this, please show me leave a like on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This helps you support me and helps you be better informed when the next video drops on this channel. Now, like the end of every single one of my videos, I hope the rest of the week is blessed. Hope to see you again in the next video. With that, I'm out.